What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to build a mini ramp. To build a mini ramp like this, you're gonna need screws, a drill, a jigsaw, two by fours, plywood, masonite, and steel pipes. If you're a kid, make sure you have adult supervision when you're using power tools. Be careful, it's dangerous. So before you get started, you need to figure out if you want a mellow transition or a steep transition. You also need to figure out how big you want this mini ramp to be. So cut out the transition on all the sides, make sure they're all the same, make sure you did a good job cutting out the transition because if you build the whole ramp and you don't like the way the transition feels, you're gonna have to take the whole thing apart just to change the slope of the transition. If you're building this ramp inside, you have to make sure you have enough room to stand on top of the deck and not hit your head on the ceiling. So before you cut out the shape of the ramp, you're gonna to need to draw it with a marker on the plywood. Then hold your skateboard up to it and make sure that your skateboard's gonna be able to roll smoothly up this transition. Make sure it's not too mellow or too steep. Make sure it's not too steep, you know, so your nose or your tail doesn't get caught on the ramp when you're rolling up it. Once the transition's good, you're gonna start putting the two by fours in the middle. So you're gonna be using a drill and you're gonna use screws. You can use nails, but if you do use nails, it's gonna be a lot harder to take apart later on. The screws are gonna come right out. So you can take the ramp apart and fix it, especially if you mess up a lot. So you can make a four foot wide mini ramp. That's gonna be just as wide as one sheet of plywood. But if you do make a ramp that thin, you're not really gonna be able to grind on it. So if you wanna make a bigger ramp, maybe like eight feet wide, you're gonna need some kind of support in the middle because if you just put the eight foot two by fours all the way across, they're not gonna be strong enough to support your weight. So if you wanna do it the way I do it, cut all of your eight foot two by fours in half so you have a bunch of four foot two by fours. So the way I do it is I actually build four small quarter pipes and then I take two on one side, two on the other side and just screw them together. So for the middle flat section, you can use the whole eight foot two by four. It's sitting on the ground so it's not gonna break. Then after you're done building the frame, you're gonna wanna coat it with two layers of plywood and a layer of masonite. The reason I suggest you put masonite on top is because it's cheaper and it's smoother. It allows you to slide. If you're building an indoor mini ramp, the masonite's gonna last longer than the plywood. It's gonna allow you to slide and revert, but if you're building an outdoor mini ramp in your backyard, it's not gonna last as long as the plywood because as soon as it rains, that masonite's gonna fall apart. You can get skate light, which is what they build wooden skate parks out of, but it's very expensive. When you get to the point where you're ready to put your plywood on the top, you wanna start on one side all the way at the top. Make sure that's the side you wanna do most of your tricks on because you can line it up perfect at first. By the time you get to the other side, you might have a little bit too much plywood and you may have to cut it off by hand with a jigsaw. So that side might be a little rougher than the side that was already cut by a machine. So you're gonna use longer screws to hold the two by fours in place. You want something that's gonna be strong, that's gonna hold them in place when you're skating on the ramp. You can use shorter screws when you're actually putting the plywood on top. When it's time to put the coping in, you want to cut notches in the frame, make sure they're all even so the coping is going to lay nice and flat. You need two different drill bits for this. You're going to have a thinner drill bit that can drill through steel, go all the way through the coping, and then you're going to have a thicker drill bit that is a little bit bigger than the head of a screw to go through half of the coping. You're doing this so that you can actually put screws all the way through the coping to hold it in place. It's a lot harder to skate if the coping is bouncing up and down, or if it's moving when you do like foot plants on it, you could fall, or if it completely falls 
out of the notches and off while you're skating, that could be really dangerous. So when you drill through the coping and you start putting those screws in, make sure you tilt the coping where the screw will be hidden back, you know, the hole and the screw will be hidden in the back where your truck and the nose and tail of your board are not gonna come in contact with that when you're actually grinding. So you wanna kinda of tuck it in close to the deck. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.